In fact, the man from Hong Kong, China, has been in a semi-final previously, and that was two years ago. So it is the final quarter-final to be completed before we know the entire semi-final lineup for tomorrow's semi-finals day. Seven different nationalities at quarter-final stage, the most diverse of all five disciplines here this year at the Denmark Open. Erasmus Genka getting a huge roar of approval from the fans. Competing in his seventh consecutive Denmark Open. When he was beaten in the final three years ago, he lost out to his friend and teammate, Anna Zantensen. But here is Lee Chak Yu. Fifth appearance at the Denmark Open. At first was seven years ago when he lost in the qualifying. Uh, that tells you it was before the inception of the World Tour. And because now these 750 events do not have any qualifying. If you're in the world's top 32, you qualify, and there's no qualifying draw, no qualifying rounds to get into the main draw. Well, this will be a fifth meeting between these two players, and Orasmus Gemka has won three of the previous four. Uh, but most importantly, Lee Chak Yu won the last encounter, which was in Black, the first round red, of the red, Thailand Super red. 500 event earlier this year. As you saw, three Time. games, an hour and Surf three minutes. Surf. So I believe that Lee Chak Yu won the toss of the coin and chose ends. And by the end, he's chosen. I don't think that Rasmus Gemka will be too upset about that. I think if Gemka had had the choice of ends, he probably would have chosen to start this near side, playing with the drift. Well, Rasmus Gemka... He's 26 years of age from Verbi J, Verbu J, and J stands for Jutland, southwestern part of Aarhus. Seventh consecutive appearance at the Denmark Open, and he's looking to get through to his first semi final of the year. This is his fourth quarter final of 2023, but he's never progressed past this stage so far. Well, he had a terrific win in the first round against the number four seed, the reigning world champion, Kunla Wudwidasan. An hour and 32 minutes came from 16-19 down in that deciding game. Five straight points to close it out to 19, and then beat the left-handed Lin Chen Yi of Chinese Taipei. Save three game points in the second game before winning it 25-23. Lee Chek Yu is 27 years of age and that equates... Ah, oh, well, they've got him down at 180. I had him down at 176, five foot nine and a half. Currently 18 on the world ranking, went down one place when the rankings were published on Tuesday earlier this week, but did spend 12 weeks in total across five different spells at 14. He too has had some good results. Wang Su Wei, at three games, dropped the opening game there, and he dropped the opening game against Koko Watanabe. Our umpire for this one from Austria and the service judge from Spain. Well, 
Gemka is the last remaining Dane in either of the singles competitions. All hopes resting on his shoulders. Ladies and gentlemen, on the right, Lee Chok Yu, Hong Kong, China. And on my left, Rasmus Gemke, Denmark. Rasmus Gemke to serve. Love all. Play. So the last of the men's singles quarterfinals gets underway. Coaching bench, head coach, Kenneth Jonasson in the red shirts and his assistant, Jesper Hillwalk. So with Lee Chuck Yu having lost the opening game of both of his previous matches, if you're a, a fan of his, don't be alarmed if he loses the opening game here. So, of course, uh, that will put the home fans very much behind Gimka. So it's a bit of a risky tactic. Not that I think it was a tactic to lose the opening game in his previous two matches. Yeah, clearly in. One, two. former Malaysian head coach, Wong Chun Han, now coaching in Hong Kong, and sitting behind the court for this one. There's one to in hand. And his man is really working the Dane from corner to corner in that rally. All four corners of the court explored. And a super disguised reverse slice. Cross court drop shot to end the rally. Two off. That's a brilliant block from Lee Chek Yu. Four, three. And I was telling you, he was in the semi final two years ago, lost out to Victor Axelson, who went on to win the title. Yep. 
And when he reached the semi-final, it became only the third player from Hong Kong, China, to contest the men's singles final here at this Denmark Open. First uh, was back in 2010, Hu Yun, and then Wong Wing Ki, six years ago, reached the semi-final. Oh, that is just wonderful. Five, three. Rasmus, Rasmus, three on four between the rallies, OK? Well judged, just along with the back line. Always oh, challenging. I saw that is clearly wide. Well, I've been off form today, it has to be said, with my predictions of the instant review. Here we go. Yeah, it was clearly wide. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. So the medalist at the World Championships, Six, four. Hong Kong coach, Wong Chun Han. Oh, what year was that? 2003, if my memory serves me correctly. Just long. Wipe the court. Wipe the court, please. Serve is over. Seven, five. It worked so hard in that rally, Kimka. Thank you. And then the clear long of the back line. Seven, Got to keep your focus five. all the way through the rally. Got to keep your patience too. That's going wide. Service over. Six. Four hours. Lee, if you want to change, ask the picker.
Well, of the two previous matches, Gimka has been on court longer. Two hours and 34 minutes as opposed to two hours and 10 minutes that Lee has been on court. That might make a difference today, although I think the home support will lift this man, even if he's feeling very tired. This is remarkable. Four straight points, two point deficit to a two point advantage. Wipe the court. Line judge. Five straight points. Wipe the court, please. Ten. Seven. I lead the perfect score to stop his body defense. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Now the slot is so flat, so it's hard for him to long or a short push. On court. Oh, that was an opportunity missed. I mean, check you. And it means that on a run of six straight points, Rasmus Gimka goes to the mid-game interval with a four-point advantage. Precis, precis. Four minutes, there. Hold it, 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 there. Hold og så spille de her gode, skarpe slag, uden at du sætter tingene på spidsene. Det er jo ikke af. 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 Det er Well, it was a terrific run of points prior to the mid-game interval by Gemka. Six straight points. He probably didn't want the mid-game interval at that particular moment. He wanted to keep the momentum going. Wipe the court. Service over. Thank you. Please welcome the technical officials to That is a fabulous end to a fabulous rally.
longest rally so far. 36 shots. Seven of the last eight points to Ginka. It's landed on the line. But the service over. Nine, twelve. And that second net shot from Nietzsche Q. That was the one that maybe put Gimka on the back foot. Nine, twelve. Looked to me as if he changed his mind there. Back level, four straight points, and it's 12 all. Is up, upping the intensity, yep. pace 13, of movement. Clear check you. Yeah. We always knew he had potential. He was a silver medalist at the Youth Asian Games One more time. back in 2013. Beat Chi in the semi-final. by Genka to push down the forehand side. And the run finally comes to an end. But that had been five straight points for Lee Chek Yu. and flow of this opening gate. Quite dramatic. Six straight points from Genka from 5-7 down to go to the mid-game interval. The 11-7 up. Now Lee Chet Yu, 8-12 down. 
to 15-13 up. Oh, that was going wide. Yeah, that's a super drop. Absolutely got away with it. Yeah, Genta is pushed down the Czech Hughes forehand side. That one was clearly wide. That's a beauty. That really is a super shot. The margins between success and failure are absolutely tiny. String's gone. Not that I think that's really contributed to him losing that rally. It seemed to me that Lee Chuck Yu was very much in command. That's a great follow-up. Ten of the last 13 points. 14. has upped his intensity. The being more aggressive, dictating the pace more, commanding the rallies. 18, 14. One left. Yeah. 19, 14. 8, 12, down. Now 19, 14 up. Yeah. Calmly concentrating on the placement rather than the power. Very wise decision. 15, 19. <laughs> Oh, that's just brilliant. Service net over. Net shot, so for tight spinning net shot. 
Take a look at this. Is the tumble from Erasmus Gimka and a perfect response from Lee Chak Yu. Five game point opportunities for the man from Hong Kong, China. Nice. Again, Gemka is using the angles, making his opponent twist and turn. Down his forehand side, acute angle. Then goes down his backhand side. Good tactical awareness from Gemka. A wild one. 17, Two game points have come and gone. But on his third game point opportunity, game Lee Chiak Yu takes the opening game 21 17 against Erasmus Gemka. 26 minutes for that opening game. Oh, a good comeback from that four point deficit at the mid game interval. Come in. Overordnet set, så er det mest vigtige ikke også, det er, at han ikke får de her nemme rullemuligheder. Ja, men... indomik... Især ind omkring sin forhånd. Bagen og bagen, synes jeg generelt, ud af mod siden. Ja, den der, men, men, men han... det er her, han laver rigtig, rigtig mange net. Føler bare, det... at den her står med sidst, så man lige får en lille vinkel ud af, så man bare ser retten skift, for han ikke får den lige løb af. Ja. ja. Og det... Og det... Og det... Det er det, der lykkes for ham at få den del, ikke? Fordi nu nok står lidt for langt tilbage og spiller lidt for blødt derinde. Ja. Nå. Anden sæt her. Spillet er overordnet set det samme. Vi skal op og jagte ham derop, så når du har ham tæt lige foran dig, efter du har lukket ham ind ude siden, så skal han væk. Ja. Ikke også? Så skal han ned i hjørnerne, og så skal han dreje Så Hvis vi ikke kan dreje ham, så er det hårdt tilbage. Hvis du ikke kan træde ind i forbanen og så spille den helt kort, altså stop bolden, ligesom med konvolut. Det er også en helt bolddjæg. Bolddjæg, ngaojæg. Men jeg fandt Zhang Tsui Okay, jeg fandt bare. Jeg fandt bare. Court 1, 20 seconds. Court 1, 20 seconds. <coughs> Love all. Play. <coughs> so as play gets underway for this second game, Kenneth Jonasson, I can tell you, the Danish coach was urging Gemka not to play too soft. Wants him to play the positive commanding rallies that he played in the first half of the opening game. Thank you. And that included playing all the corners. Yeah, make his opponent move. In ball. Hey. It's over. One off. Missed it. Two. 
one. 上路有少少上速度啊，跟神跟神，唔好慢落嚟啊！呢啲系跟住呢一两把先，逼佢落马翻落嚟。Oh, nice net shot again from Lee Chuk Yu. This is a good rally. Oh, what a smash. Body smash, but slightly across the body. Towards the right hip of Gimka. That is perfect placement. Next time, ask me earlier. Okay? Oh. Strong choice of shot from Lee Chek Yu. Service over. Three, two. Kimka was out of position. Look, he's off balance. And then he just pops the shuttle up into his hitting zone. What on earth was he thinking? <laughs> yeah. Coach wonders too. Flick serve. Service over. Three. Well, there's four. been four different Danes have won the men's singles title here at the Denmark Open since the inception of the Super Series and now World Tour. So dating back to 2007, Peter Gaida, 15 years ago, Jano Jorgensen, 13 years ago, Victor Axelsen. Three years ago. Antonsen three years ago, I beg your pardon, and Axelson two years ago. Oh. Oh. Well, Gimko was a little bit naughty there because he indicated that the shuttle had gone out, and I think that that influenced the line judge. Did well to reach that. Oh, clever, clever, clever play from the check. You line judge, wipe the court four, five. Look at Gemka's movement. First of all, it was the net shot off the net shot that was so good. Thank you, Gemka is guessing for the cross court. 
anywhere near it. There's another beautiful net shot off a net shot. Plays that so well. Ball, you touch the net. Four, five, all. Gemka faulted for touching the net. I didn't spot it at the time. Oh yes, you can see the, the net move there. That's a great spot by the umpire. Oh, he's faulted that time for taking the shuttle before it had crossed over the net. And again, that's great umpiring. Very, very sharp. Well done, Mr. Daniel Wolf from Austria. Seven, five. They won that rally with broken strings. New shot of quickly. Now you see this is where time is wasted. Gemka has changed the shuttle, but he didn't take a new one. That was the case Seven, when we were in five. the. COVID pandemic that the player about to serve had to take the shuttle. Well, it's no longer, I don't think, uh, the protocol. And the fact that he, he could have taken the shuttle himself, Genka, and Six, just seven. handed it to his opponent, yeah. the other side yeah, of the court, done a little practice serve or something, oh, instead of which... Lee Chuck Yu had to walk all the way from his kit bag, all the way across court, uh, go to the shuttle dispenser and then come back again. He's a very talented in individual, this man from Hong Kong, China. Beautiful technical skills. Great, great deception. the back line. <laughs> Off balance. Yeah, that's why he was in trouble. Wipe the court. The clear to the back of the court. Ten. Court Gemker Six. off balance. There he is. It's late to get back to his base position. And then vulnerable to the disguised fast angle drop. Thank you. Eight of the last ten points to Lee Trek you. This is an impressive run. Thank you, Lange. enjoyed that. Uh. 
hand to the mid-game interval. 11-7. And with an 11-7 advantage. But remember, we had that scoreline at the mid-game interval in favour yeah, of yeah. Rasmus Gemker in the opening yeah, game, and he couldn't convert. Yeah, yeah, they got the eller mod hans baglinje, ja. på den ene eller den anden måde. Vi skal dyrke hans dyb forhånd, hvis du kan, ind i spil mere den vej ned, ja. så må han slå dig dernede fra. Præcis. Ja, Og så hvis du kan huske, så sæv varieret, så ledes han ikke selv kan gå hurtigt. Ja, 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 så, så, så kan jeg dække min forhånd. Ja, 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 præcis. Vi sår bare lige nu, når ja. det går direkte. Ja. Okay. Så, uh, ja. Det er mellemspil lige nu, hvis vi ikke ja. kan gå på det tæt. Nej, præcis. Yes. Men vi er med at arbejde med det, ikke også? Well, Kenny Jonasson urging Gemka to vary his serve, close the net down and work, work and more work. Keep fighting every single rally. Oh, I don't think you need to tell Gemka to do that. He is a great fighter on court. Oh, yeah. No, I think that may have missed. But Lee Chuck Hugh. If he's wrong on this, then he's got no challenges left in this second game. Oh, caught the outside edge of the line by a whisker. So no challenges left for Lee. Service over. Eight, Eleven. Eight, Eleven. Eleven. Play. Nice. Very nice. Service over. Is he's got this? Twelve. Wonderful Eight. overhead technique. In fact, all of his uh, hitting skills are of such a high level. Yeah, thank you. Lee Chek That because it's an easy, relaxed hitting motion, that in itself tends to create extra disguise and extra deception. He really is causing huge problems for Gemka. This is slipping away from Gemka now. challenge even if he wanted to got no challenges left yeah it was clearly in anyway
Oh, my goodness, that's good, isn't it? Steepness of shot. And Gemka once again cannot read where the, the smash is going to come. Tries guessing and once again guesses incorrectly. If you're a Danish fan, you've got to hope that Gemka starts taking the initiative within the rallies. Like that. Downward shots, attacking play. And it is hard work physically, it's very demanding. Oh dear, you're all right. Long Chun Han. 10, 16. Good flick. Missed it. I think that Kenneth Jonasson's point about closing down the net, very relevant, is he's backing off and he's allowing Liu Chek Yu to play a net shot off Gemka's own net shot. He really needs to close down the net, stop that happening. Oh, goodness me, that's sharp. 18, you see, that's the sort of thing that I think Jonasson wanted Gimka to do. Once you've played the net shot, be ready to pounce. Oh, won't you learn like that? So you should. Short. Yeah. Two points away from a second semi final at the Denmark Open, two years after his first. <laughs> yes, a, a smile from Kenny Jonasson. I'm sure that's what he's been urging him to do. That's the first time I can remember that he's taken one, a net shot off the top of the tape. <laughs> Match point opportunities. For Lee Check you. Twenty. Match point twelve. Oh. 
and he converts on his first. What a great performance from the mid-game interval for the rest of the match from Lee Chek Yu. Having found himself 7-11 down in the opening game from that moment on when he came out from the mid-game interval, he took total command of the match. Disappointment for Rasmus Gemka and indeed for the home fans. Second consecutive year, no men's singles players in semi-finals. In fact, a year ago, there was no home players in any semi-finals. We know we've got a mixed doubles pair from Denmark competing in the semi-final tomorrow. We won't have a singles player, but we might have a men's doubles pair. 21-17, 21-12 in a match lasting 50 minutes. So welcome back to Orthensa. Quarterfinals day here at the Denmark Open and just one more quarterfinal to come. And it features the World Championship silver medalists and European Games gold medalists, Kim Astrop and Anna's Rasmussen, the home pair up against Ong Yu Sing and Tiu Yi Yi from Malaysia. Well, as far as the men's doubles draw is concerned by quarterfinals, we only had three seeds, so one in the top half of the draw, and that was the defending champions, Alfian and Ardianto. We know we've got an all-Indonesian semi-final in the top half of the draw, and it's possible we could have an all-Malaysian semi-final in the bottom half of the draw. But I'm quite certain that Astrup and Rasmussen have other ideas. And now, court number one, men's doubles. From Denmark, Kim Astrup, Anasko Rasmussen. Kim Astrup and Anas Rasmussen are in the middle of the most tremendous Kim run, Anas. the best Malaysia. run of their Obviously. careers five finals in their last seven tournaments, including a win last week at the Arctic Open in Vanta in Finland. 
Uh, but this is a very experienced Malaysian pair of Ong Yu Sin and Tiori Yi. Uh, they are in their third consecutive quarter final here at the Denmark Open. In fact, last year uh, they went one better than this. They were in the semi final. This Danish combination, on the other hand, has been in the final previously. That was two.